welcome back to our Good Morning North Coast show. There's so much excitement here in the studio with me. We've got Simon and Susie from the Snakes in the City. How are you guys? Oh, yeah. It's good so morning. good having you here. No, thank you thank for having you so us. Oh, and thank you for dressing appropriately. No, I, I, I must say, it. I did select the shirt. Um, <laughs> we all know I'm not the biggest on. fan of a snake, but the Just show, you. I'm a massive fan. Oh, bless you. Thank you. It's a good being back in sunny Natal. It is. Um, I don't know if sunny is the right no, 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 yeah. word. <laughs> I think you guys brought the miserable weather. Really? <laughs> Sorry. Yes. It's a bit wet, the snakes. It's good to be back. A little yeah. bit wet, isn't little bit, it? But they'll come out. No, I'm sure, yeah. I'm sure. So exciting, press releases come out. You guys want to start filming? Yes. What's in store for us? When does it start? Oh, well, we're well, filming now, obviously. Um, and it is another season, so it's amazing. So oh. uh, for a snake show that goes around the world, which I think is incredible. You guys have done We've so put well. Durban on the map. Maybe not for the right reasons. I think people are pretty scared <laughs> of Durban. People, people avoid this country now. <laughs> yeah, I think no. you guys have really shown the big snakes lingering around here yeah. in our bushes, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but we've got some exciting things lined up for this show. And I'm not going to give you details, but a new apprentice. Oh, yes. and how, I'm sure that must be very exciting. Brilliant. No, <laughs> very good. for the both of you. <laughs> definitely. No, definitely. Yeah. And it takes some pressure for you both, doesn't yes. it? Yes, no, it will. The more hands, the better. I can That's have right. coffee whilst they go catch, you know. Yeah, you can I can have a day off. Behind the <laughs> 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 yeah, that's it. Listen, I mean, I've seen those shows and some of those snakes are so scary. I don't know how you guys do it. I really take my hats off to the both of oh, you. Bless you. And the area in which you guys work in, how far, how do we get a hold of you and how does it work? Okay, well basically we're on call pretty much all the time okay. and the other snake catchers that are in Durban hand the calls over to us so we get more volume yeah. and we can spread out further. So basically the phone can ring any time and we'll jump in the car and off we go. So you could be quiet one minute and then busy as crazy the next, you know. So, so I mean, I've seen how you guys speed up and down. How do you get yeah. to all those places at once? I've been yeah, no, down. I mean, we try and like prioritise the call. So say yes. someone might for a bush snake outside a tree we're not going to worry about that too no, much but if a black mamba has gone to someone's house or something like that then obviously that's prioritized yes, yes. so we could be in belito one minute we could be in the mans and toti the next we yes, could be in camper down you know it really every day over. is different we don't know what we're no. where we're going to what we're going to get up to mm. whether we come home alive no, listen, <laughs> you know that to me i don't know if my heart would <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, and what is the demo, the restriction? Do you, how far north do you go and how far south for an average person to call We've out? been up to Richards Bay. Oh, um, to Richards Bay it just depends, Bay. you know, on the situation. Uh, yeah. If a snake is, say a python was in, went in someone's house, which is unlikely, yeah. and it was miles and miles away like Richards Bay, we'd probably go and do it. Oh, but wow. say a python's outside in the middle of the bush, then we wouldn't. It just no, depends on what, because that's where it's supposed to be. Yes, yeah. So we screen all the calls that come in, and then we see, we pick off what's what. Some of them, someone might phone and say, oh, I saw a snake yesterday. <laughs> but, but, but why didn't you phone us that day? No, no, it's not going <laughs> to yeah, be no, there right now. No, no. it's not going to be there now. But no. if you see it again, then phone us back. And sometimes that happens. But generally, you know, we, we screen yeah. the calls and we prioritise what's That's what. That's amazing. Yeah. And is there a call out fee? I mean, I know I've wondered, how does it work? Do we just phone the hotline and you come and you're like, hey, does there a fee charged? Okay, well, yeah. well, whilst we're filming, there is no charge. Oh, okay. So there, there is a charge, normally. Yeah. Um, and there has to be. At the end of the day, we're of using fuel business. and it's time. Yeah. It's a business. It's a all fuel, snake yeah. catchers yeah. need to charge. Yes, yeah. uh, but whilst filming, no charge. Oh, that's amazing. So, yeah. And I know it's all about relocation. And it's about, obviously, educating the people Absolutely. about the snakes. And I think that's a massive drive behind your show as well. Yeah, it's I mean, huge. without the education, you're kind of wasting your time because people fear snakes and because they don't understand them. Well, that's it. Uh, and a snake will always try and move away from a human. They're not interested in humans at all and when accidents do happen it's normally when a human takes some matters into their own hands and tries to hurt a snake or kill a snake and that's where you can and obviously you get bitten that. generally like we can walk into a room with 10 black mamas in it and as long as there's stuff for them to hide under they'll all sh you know shuffle off into the corners and hide away it's only because we have to physically remove no, it remove. that they get well, we nervous. thought we'd try that experiment today yeah. are you happy with that <laughs> so we've, we've <laughs> we got 10 of them mamas coming here now <laughs> <Lots of> mamas <laughs> yeah. we'll see you run out the door <laughs> <laughs> see everyone disperse <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, education is key. Yes. Um, and we have converted so many people, which is what we, that's our drive. Yeah. Um, and we've also, loads of people now identify species. They know if it's harmless or is it, you know, if it's deadly. That's amazing. Um, and they've been able to remove it themselves. So that's the main thing is education. Well, so that, yeah. that is. I don't know if I would do the self removal method. I'll be the one. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not for everyone. No, no, it's not for everyone. It'll probably but, um, be a bush snake and I'll be calling. Yeah, yeah. You. Yeah, People do. I mean, it obviously gets confused with oh, green yeah. mambas and all sorts. But, and um, that's the thing. We don't really get educated on the different types of snake species. No. I don't know. It's a green snake with dots. I mean, yeah. They're all Absolutely. green and they're brown and they're black. What's the difference yeah. at the end of the day? And yeah. it is good to know because you 
you can either panic or not panic. Yes. <laughs> you know, it's simple as that. Yeah. So, yeah, it's good to learn about your species. Oh, yes, definitely. Mm. And I do see a bag sitting there. I've got a bag in here. Yeah. 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 Are you prepared to meet my lovely I friend? I am prepared. My heart is beating, but let's <laughs> do it. <laughs> oh, away. Okay, so and you're not keen on snakes, is that right? I, I will hold it. I've done it. Okay. We'll do it. What, the, what is our friend over here? Let's hold on. Let's get it oh. out. That's in the bag. Quite sleepy early morning, hey? At least the bag's not wriggling, so that's a good thing. That's right. a good start. Probably okay. still half asleep. Probably half asleep. Early morning, hey? Hasn't had coffee yet. Hasn't had coffee yet. There. there we go. I might just be as coffee buzz. <laughs> yeah. There we are. So, not oh, indigenous wow. to this country. Yeah. Um, it's a Taiwanese beauty. Um, and there we go. Look how beautiful. See, obviously, I'm very biased. No, but I just look at the beauty, the, the patterns, and look yeah, at this. Yeah, and you chose that pattern today, so hey, you're matching it. Yeah, no, no, it's it's actually pretty, pretty close, eh? <laughs> <laughs> And the thing is, people always assume they want to buy it. As soon as you touch a snake, they want to buy it. Why would they? Okay. Um, I've done things where uh, I've been at a show. I've had a snake. The person next to me has had kittens. And they, oh, and they always say to me, oh, will it buy it? And I said, did you ask the kitten lady that question? And they went, oh, no. Well, then why would it? Yeah. yeah. So, so it's if you're not going to stimulate that effect, it's yeah. not going to. And if it doesn't feel scared, it's used to being handled, um, there's no need for it. So are you going to have a go? Oh, well, what snake is this? So it's a Taiwanese beauty, a type of rat snake. Oh, look at you, straight away. Oh. There we go. See, it's just blending in with the shirt. Isn't hey, that's right? my brother <laughs> you're wearing. <laughs> Oh, it's not that heavy oh. So you can move your hand to direct it from here. It will just you. cruise around. Yeah, that's it. Just that's move it. it this way, away <laughs> from the face and to the camera. <laughs> But you look and great, really relaxed. And it's just educating. So people think they're terrible, they're scary, they're going to chase you, snake. bite you. Yeah, type of rat snake. Yeah, type okay, of rat snake. So, and where would one find them usually? What habitat? That's from like Indonesia, that sort of sure. Taiwan. Yeah. 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 Wow. Um, obviously, that was brought into the country. Well, the parents probably of it probably were, there, would yeah. have been captive yeah. bred over here in South Africa because yeah. um, it's, it's like a pet snake for the pet trade. Go for um, <laughs> And they do get a little bit bigger than that. Still got some growing to do. How Quite a powerful that? snake. I mean, they hunt mice and rats and birds in the wild. Wow. Um, so quite a it's robust. It's a type a of constrictor. Is it a type of yeah, constrictor? Yeah, so it'll actually grab hold of the prey. So it won't be around. sizing me up right now. No, 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 no I don't no, you're right. like. no. <laughs> <laughs> We're actually speaking about that. They are snakes, you know, size you up. How stunning. I don't know if you guys can see, but the patterns are absolutely beautiful. Come on, I'm going to move this way so we can see his head. Yeah, no, he's following my head. Going shy. There we go. They're just misunderstood, and this is our message in life. We want to protect them, we want to look after them, and we yes. need them. We actually need them for the planet. We do. So, yeah, and they're keeping the rodent population down, um, so we definitely need them. And if I could ask you some questions, where's the most unusual? <laughs> no, it wants to go into my shirt, doesn't it? <laughs> and it's definitely constricting me. I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah, what are the it, most okay? unusual places that you guys have gone to? If you could share a story oh, with us, one of your favourite highlights. We've had all sorts. We've of had things, all we? sorts. I mean, one which was in a, it was actually aired in the show was this woman described a snake and it was an amazing description. It was like a black snake with blue dots with purple colours and we were like, we do not know what species you know, she's describing. I was like racking my brain thinking, what is that? Yeah. A blue yeah. with dots. It's blue dot, you know, it's a really, really weird description. Random, so we're thinking yeah. maybe it's a, an exotic species, a pet that's escaped. We're trying to work out which snake it could be. Yeah. Um, so we got there. Um, it was actually in a kindergarten, a school. And we did find this snake. It did have blue, polka dots, purple. But it was a toy snake. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. It was. It was about the but same size as that. But, but her description was perfect, exactly what she said. Yeah. But um, yeah, it wasn't a real snake. It's so just bless up. her. I'm sure I'm one of those that would do the exact same thing. I think she knew something, deck. saw it, panicked, and called us. But that's great, you know. But yeah, we have had strange locations, yeah. and they can end up anywhere. It's not the snake's fault. No. Um, if it's raining, like today, they seek shelter somewhere. Yeah. That may be in a car, maybe in a home. Again, it's not their fault. We're building no. on their land. Well, that's you know? it. Yeah. We're on their natural habitat at the Absolutely. end of the that's day. That's the problem. You know? And we get panicky, over everything. but who are yeah. we to get all exactly. panicky about a well, snake? That's what they say. Yeah. yeah. We say, you know, we've got a snake problem. We've actually got a human problem. It's a human problem. Yeah. yeah. And that's I, what I, I definitely say. agree yeah. with you. Oh, guys, a snake is absolutely, absolutely oh, stunning. I love it. Look at that, and it's so calm, yeah, isn't it? Is yeah, it a I'm calm sure. of it's, nature? Yeah, again, it's a snake that's been handled from young. No need for it to bite, it doesn't feel threatened. I was hoping not. I've tried to be handled with it today. It's very chilled, Snake. Yeah. Uh, very and chilled. tell me, when would we start seeing the first um, airing, the new episode? When can we I mean, expect what? to see There's no date set as yet, no. is there? We're currently so filming it now. Yeah. Uh, it takes a while 
to edit it because believe it or not our captures can be boring we can yes. be searching for something for five hours yeah, really? long time. so we're not going to show you five hours of a capture we have to try and get the best bits so probably about march april yes yeah, so early part of next early year, part of next year. Oh, how exciting. Yeah, no, yeah. and for how long are you guys back for uh, at least till mid-December, yeah. depending on how the filming goes. Okay. Um, if we're really busy, then we'll probably fly home just before Christmas. Oh, don't you want to be here for sunny, sunny KZD? I'd rather sunny be here than, yes. Go back to the UK. Oh, in case cold. Know, it's snowy. It'd be freezing cold, snow, <laughs> yes. ice, rain, or oh, horrible. I know. Yeah. I know. It's lovely here. And we love, we love Durban. Mm. It's our second home. We, oh, well, we love, love having you guys in. Your Thanks. show is absolutely Thank amazing. You. I mean, I never, I never missed an episode, and it's just oh. incredible. Yeah. And the excitement that you guys bring to it, the education, oh, the relocation, it really is so informative. And also, actually, going back to your inspiration earlier, the lady was saying about being unique encourage children to be unique yeah. I think you know obviously we're a bit unique <laughs> and we've you know we've had fan mail from children or parents saying their children are bullied because there may be a reason yeah. and they've actually said because you, and the kids have defended themselves saying I'm different and Simon and Sue are different yeah. so that's really How cool so I've actually had goosebumps that yeah I know so it's special. lovely and also uh, encouraging children to love nature I think of that's course. important from a young age so yeah. your, your inspiration earlier was quite appropriate for us oh, so I love that, I love that. that. It is cool. if, if kids can love nature and animals it just yeah. shows you what they're 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 in the future and they respect you know, life absolutely. that is what it is the and future generation of children now is so important to bring them up properly and respect nature because yeah. the state of the planet you know, yeah. we all know it's struggling. Yeah. There's things happening all over the world all the time. And if we can just do one little bit to... Just make a difference. Make, yeah, yeah. yeah. Something it positive, it all yeah. helps. Yeah. And have you found that at schools, obviously, I mean, we don't really get taught about snake species at schools. No. Have you found that there's been a change and a shift in that? Yeah, we've been going to schools yeah, and we, we do, do educational talks and they're like quite happy for us to come along. Yeah, we take um, some snakes and spiders, scorpions. And, and you can have children yeah. that are... Well, actually, sometimes parents say, my children won't touch. Yeah. And their child's the first one to touch. So it's the parents' attitude being uh, passed actually, on. Yeah. Again, that's okay, like we were saying touch. earlier. Exactly. It all boils down from the Absolutely. parents and how the effect yeah. that they have on the kids. It's exactly. self esteem. Hey? If you're Absolutely. confident, you'll mm. conquer. So, yeah, so yeah. We, we like it in all aspects. We're saving snakes, educating. We're just very lucky. Yep. Oh, you guys are. What you Thanks do is so incredible. Much. And thank you thank so you. much for everything. No yeah, and anyone you also utilise us. If you have a snake problem, do call us. We're here to help. No, we most definitely will, especially here. It's, I mean, it's so bushy here. I mean, I know. Yeah, once yeah. it gets a little bit warmer, the yeah. rain stops, then the snakes will start moving around again. Yeah, that'll and be we're here to help. And that's what I'm saying. The main thing is we're here to help. So, you know, oh, it's just cool. Simon. Absolutely amazing. So it's thank, so you, thank you. Thank you. I've made a friend. I've made a friend. You have. Like, he's quite leave it with you. Or is it a guy? Is it a it's a she. It's a she. That's why you see it's our female instincts. Yeah, She's relaxed quite a bit, I must say. Beautiful. No, that's brilliant, but thank you for having thank us. Thank you guys Appreciate so much for coming so. out so early no this problem. morning. We yeah, appreciate cool. all the best with your thank family. You. We can't yeah. wait thank to see you. the Lord. Cool. Yes. And I thank hope you. you get to go to some interesting places. I'm sure, I'm sure we, we will. will. <laughs> I'm sure we will. <laughs> 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 Simon, Susie, thank Thanks you so much. Thank you so, thank you so, thank you so much. Thank you all the best and safe travels for when you do go. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, it was absolutely amazing. My day is made. Our little friend here is so relaxed. We're going to go into an ad break. And after the ad break, we're going to be with Nachal Besaidenot from White Sage Aesthetics. See you now.